while Scousers don't get knocked out, and that has been the case for Patty Pimblett, at least to this point in his UFC career. Outstanding pedigree coming in, and he's got another big fight in front of him tonight, DC. And he's going to continue to get big fights, because when you have that thing, when you have that it factor about you, people want to tune in. That is what Patty Pimblett has in spades. But not only can he fight, not, I'm sorry, but not only can he draw people in, the guy can fight. He's a tremendous grappler, and he has confidence like not many guys that we've seen at such a young age in their career. And don't let the out-of-camp body composition fool you, because this man has a work ethic that rivals anybody in this division. Huge spot for Patty Pimblett tonight. at this stage of his UFC career. But Bobby Green has been there, he has done that, and he proved against a guy like Grant Dawson that even when he's a betting underdog against the guy who is all the rage, don't sleep on Bobby Green at this stage of his career. for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, Bobby King Green ready to go for round one. Going to be very interesting to see how he attacks this particular challenge here tonight. At times, Bobby Green has gotten off to a slow start. At other times, he's come out guns blazing. How will Bobby Green start tonight? Nice target change and him attacking the body. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big uppercut lands for him there. Nicely done to select his shot. BJJ guy didn't seem to like that much. He didn't see it coming. He likes to reach whenever you paint at him. That's a great opportunity to throw that strike right up the middle. Uppercut lands, look for him to do it more. Oh, man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. Oh! Oh, what a kick! Big knee there. him with the straight. Nice job there by Patty Pimblett. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Misses with the right hand. Oh, I'm not sure how he stayed upright. 
I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Green. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You know he's going to set it up again. Here. I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle and a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he's getting submitted. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. spend this much time on the bottom, but they can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Patty Pimble. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Pimblet's right back to the full mount. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. In the half guard. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Now he's going full mount. Setting up an arm lock now. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. He gets denied. Block. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Green's got the full mount. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lance for All right, close guard now. Pimblet going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Great defense by this fighter. Great ground and pound by this man. the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Pimblet's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolls the strike and Alistair over oh. him, you're fine. Cuts on the lip are okay, unless your lip is hanging off like we have seen sometimes. That is not Ready. that, but he's got to protect Go. I got Robbie Waller on line one, by the way. Oh, yeah, I talk about remember Robbie. Lip cuts. Oh, my God, I was thinking about that. I couldn't remember that. Yeah. All right, next round is upon us. Let's see. Oh, Right lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Doing work with the jab there. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scored it over and over again. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Green. There it is, now he's running the mountain. 
got to be careful here. That was a quick transition. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Pimblett. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Green going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, elbow inside. Pimblet's back into full guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, right into Mount. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the face. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Green's back in half goal. Side control now. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Pimblett. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Green's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. This is where he wants to be. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Green's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Pimblet's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Pimblet's right back to the full mount here. Under a minute to go. Well, the ground and pound is on. Greens and half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He's in the mount. Pimblet's trying to lock up on a submission now. That is tight. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Pimlet's eye is closing up. Oh, Two rounds no. in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. Ready, and now, Ready. he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Third round underway. Green gets tagged by that stiff jab. That left hook is crazy. Nice jab. All 
Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Changing the position. He's getting the ball here. I need you to scramble. Scramble. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> be on belly. Looks back in format. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum. Try to go to half guard. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You've got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, no oh, these crowds. <laughs> A series of punches from the top here by Pimbley. Relentless pressure from the top by Patty Pimble. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! That was nice. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Pimblet's back in full mount. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the under. Gotta be careful there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to happen. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Nice transition. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. And there you go, again, half guard. Lance with the ground and pound here. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Constantly a moving target. He set up a beautiful submission. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Takes his back now. inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, relax, recover. Nice work. Just like we did in the gym, your grappling looks sick. This round, I want you to go out there and do it again. This guy can all right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, 
land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. Ready. Fourth round, fight schedule for five, five minutes. Landed that left hook. Great punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, nice. Wow, vicious uppercut. Right oh, now pulling guard. No, goes for the flying arm ball. He posted his foot on the hip. He uses the his weight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. This has got to be the end of the fight. It's over. Oh, he's able to get out. Well, good job. It looked like he was going to tap with his left hand, but instead he bridged off to the right and turned back into him to release some of the pressure on the Von Flucho. Beautiful defense. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Maximizing his shots here on the ground. This is a terrible position. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that he's getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Right down. Under two minutes here to go round four. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Patty Pimble. Well, he's got his back now. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Green. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Green's right back to the full mount. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. Uh, just like this, now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, nice. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that it's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Green's eye now closing up. Now he's going full mount. Stuff here with the ground and pound by Green. 
are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 20 down, five to go. All right, great stuff, man. That was your round for sure. You completely dominated that round. I need more of the same. This is the last five minutes of the fight. Let's go. You ready to fight? You ready. Let's do it. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of Habib Nurmagomedov versus yes. Mike. Not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shots that he landed. Great job. Punch there again, been there all night. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Pimblet. Leg kick lands. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut trying to attack it? Oh, it's like a target. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. Both are prepared. These are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, nice punch by Green. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. All right, so a good job defensively by him. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Hamlet goes in for the takedown now, and he's able to get it. Beautiful transition there after he was getting stunned on the feet. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. In the half guard. Pimblet's right back to the full mount here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Now he's got good body position, yup. Big, big shots landed by him now. Oh, goodness. Do you believe it? <laughs> oh, man. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Patty, the Patty Pimblet. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he 